The 2011 Elvis Festival kicked off where it all started at the birthplace with a dedication of a marker on the Mississippi Country Music Trail. Elvis is known for bringing people of diverse backgrounds together, and this event brought together politicians from both sides of the political aisle. Would he have been a Democrat or Republican? You know, I think he would have been a Republican. He was very conservative. He loved the military. He loved law enforcement. One of the big things people don't know is Elvis supported law enforcement all across the state of Mississippi. He met with President Nixon, talked about an anti-drug campaign. Uh, I definitely think he would have been on the side of Republicans. Oh yeah, El Elvis didn't have a political party, but now he was born poor and raised poor, so that probably makes him a Democrat. Closer to downtown, as folks were frolicking in the Fair Park Fountain, <laughs> workers were busy building the main concert stage. More than 16 acts were performed during the festival. On Front Street, a carnival attracted young thrill seekers. What'd you just ride? The egg beater. Okay. No, the, the egg the scrambler. Yeah, the scrambler. Scrambler, egg beater, kind of the same thing, right? What did, what did it do? Well, like Slink doing a triangle, and that is wicked. For others, such as Mary Pat Van Epps and her sister and friends, the festival is all about the music and fellowship. So what brings you all out here? Y'all been here before, right? Yes, every year we wouldn't miss it for anything. Elvis Festival in Tupelo is the greatest one around, I promise you. Better than anything Memphis puts on. But it's the best thing. Well, it's, we wouldn't miss it for anything. Friday morning, everything kicks off here at the Lyric Theater. That's when the Elvis tribute artists start their competition. And then in the evening, the concerts begin over at Fair Park. Organizers expect more than 10,000 people from around the United States and the world to visit this year's Elvis Fest. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.